This video is sponsored by PCB Way. They rush shipped us some CNC parts. Thank you guys so much. I am so excited to show this there to you. I'm also exhausted. So if I look like death warmed over, it's because I haven't slept much in the last week. But today I want to introduce the 250 pound battle bot that I've been building. Talk about proving grounds a little bit. Do like a ten design overview, although I'll do a deep dive design video in the future. And then we have one more week till we compete in Las Vegas. So. At the end, I'll kind of talk about what more we still have to do, because we're not necessarily in the clear just yet. Growing up, I remember watching the Comedy Central battle bots and thinking it was the coolest thing ever, wishing that I could do that. Then I grew up, got Thank into smaller are. combat robots, and at one point I even did design a battle bot, but I was never able to get a team together. But this summer, two things happened. First, I came up with a unique design where the two wheels are perpendicular from each other. Because this was unusual, the BattleBots producers were interested and wanted to see more. And the second thing is that I finally got a team, which I am so grateful for. Some great guys from the local robotics company Blueprint Automation jumped in to help with this, and they also offered some of their shop space. So off hours on the weekends, we're allowed to use all of this shop area. So massive shout out to everyone who's volunteered tons of time to make this happen. It's really the missing piece. We now have the tools, the experience, building larger assemblies, which I don't have. We've got a great welder. Basically everything we need to make massive parts like this. When the producer said that they wanted to see the taco proven out, they gave us two options. One, move up to 30 pounds, or two, build a full-size 250 pound and go on their live Las Vegas show. Obviously the Vegas show sounded more fun, so that's what we went with. It's never advisable to jump from ant weight all the way up to heavyweight with no intermediate experience, but uh, we went for it. The Live Vegas show has a number of clones of existing robots that are built to be a little bit more durable than the TV show bots that fight, plus an array of newcomer robots that are fighting each other to prove out their new designs. So I really like what they're doing with this whole Proving Grounds thing. Um, one, I don't know that I can swing the vacation days to do the TV show anyway. And two, um, it gives an opportunity for designs that are newer and might have some more teething pains. Because if you're going to be on TV, you have a ton of pressure to be successful. And if you have to be successful, you're not going to innovate. You're going to go with proven designs. And speaking of proven designs, this is who the producers have us fighting. It is a four-wheel drive vertical. It is well built. There's solid engineering behind it. It destroyed its last opponent. I am terrified to fight them. I'll link their video below if you want to see more on Disarray. So like I said, I'll do a full design review later. This is just going to be 60 seconds of some of the things that we found while trying to scale this weird design up to this size. The general layout was a really big question. Uh, we settled for a steel frame with a UHMW shell. Based on the ant weight, we knew the shell was kind of going to get destroyed and needed to be cheap and easy to replace. And then we went with a steel frame because it's easiest to make modifications on. An aluminum frame like this one from Witch Doctor is lighter, but you're locked into your design. And we're not there yet with this design to lock everything in. The one inch thick UHMW shell did prove quite difficult to form into this taco shape, um, but with enough heat, eventually it was able to bend. And just like the ant weight, the shell will get destroyed, but there's a ton of empty space in between the shell and anything important. And while the frame is steel, and it's a good thing too, because we've made so many adjustments on changing this design over time, the weapon mounts are not. They're one inch thick aluminum plate, which was CNC'd. This was kind of the proper way to, to brace a vertical spinner. We just kind of copied what Hypershock and Witch Doctor are doing. And it also means that we can undo some bolts and then slide the whole weapon assembly out for repairs, which is important because my god, everything's a super tight fit and it's just a real pain in the ass. We're using an e-bike and a one-wheel hub motor. I feel like we got to go through some experimentation to find the right, like, most durable hub motor here, although we have mounted them to UHMW Ooh. mounts for a little bit of shock absorption. Our weapon is an inch and a half slab of hardened steel. It's Hardox 450. It's not the heaviest weapon in the game, but with two motors driving this, it should have a really good spin up time and it should run exactly at the 250 mile an hour tip speed limit. One last thing I want to throw in for the build section is how much more difficult it is to work at this scale. Even little things like a hole not properly lining up, that's a half hour job to fix. Everything just takes longer. I feel like my exhausted voiceover voice is not properly capturing just how excited I am for this thing. But uh, anyway, we have one week to get everything ready, so here's what remains. We still have more experimentation to do on it rolling back to its wheels. We might have to weld on a post of shame, which luckily we do have the weight for. The drive has been working really well. Um, I've been quite happy with it, but it's all been running at 12 volts. We haven't bumped it up to 24 volts yet. Um, so. We've still got kind of, I got some work to do to figure out the right balance of uh, not overheating but still having good drive. It just power. doesn't seem like it back up like it does, you know? 
I'm shocked by how well it drives. We've still got some aesthetic mods to do because uh, this kind of looks like poop up top. And then finally, and most importantly, I've still got some weapon speed controller tuning to do, uh, which is something that Team Hypershock has actually stepped in to help me with, which I'm very grateful for. So we're going to make it. It's going to be close, but we're going to make it. I'm very excited for next weekend. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick update, and have a good day. Aww.